Alimosho is a local government area in the Keja Division. It is the largest local government area in Lagos with over 2 million residents. It is subdivided into six divisions which are Agbado Okyodo LCDA, Ayoboy Paja LCDA, Alimosho Local Government, Egbeidimu LCDA, Ikotun Igodo LCDA, and Moso Okwala LCDA. The area is predominantly occupied by the Egbados, and it is a local government rich in cultural heritage, particularly masquerades, prominent amongst which are Oro, Igunu, and Igungu. Due to the large population of the area, it is expected that nefarious activities will be carried out by unscrupulous residents in and around the local government area. And to this end, the Alimosho office of the Department of State Security Service was upgraded and reconstructed to tackle this menace and further boost the security of the area and Lagos State as a whole. It should be noted that this is the first time in Nigeria that the DSS office will not be located in a local government secretariat. This is a good move as it has helped to further bring security closer to the people. To further enhance the quality of education in the area, the Special Committee on Rehabilitation of Public Schools constructed the Alagbadu Junior Grammar School, Agbadu Okyodo LCDA. The committee also constructed hostel blocks at the Lagos State Model College, Meron Agbadu Okyodo LCDA. The agency, not resting on its laurels, further embarked on more constructions of schools. To this end, there is ongoing construction of 18 classrooms blocks at State Comprehensive Junior College, Alimosho, and 18 classroom blocks at Ori Sumbari Senior High School. Owing to the fact that Alimosho is highly populated, the healthcare facilities in Alimosho receive a daily influx of people seeking quality healthcare services as a result of the teeming population of the area. There have been several interventions by the Lagos State Government in the healthcare sector towards facilitating unfettered access to quality healthcare services in the state and improving the health conditions of Lagosians. To further ease the movement of goods and services in the area, the Lagos State Government, through the Ministry of Transportation, reconfigured the Cotton Roundabout into a junction with standardized intelligent traffic signal lights. In a related vein, the Ministry also installed standardized intelligent traffic signal lights at the Ikoto Road NNPC Junction, Ejibu. Additional interventions include curbs and median painting at Iyanoipaja Roundabout to Moshalashi Roundabout, Akuwajo to Egbeda Road and Igodo to Ikoto Road at Limosho. Road markings were also done at Governor's Road Ekora Road and Meira, all in Alimosho local government area. As the world is becoming increasingly networked, interdependent and service-oriented, the capacities to transact business efficiently, speedily, safely and with ease are becoming important. One of such capacities are good road networks and with this in mind, the Ministry of Works and Infrastructure constructed the Lagos Ogun Boundary Roads Phase 2 in a Limosho local government area. Accompanying the roads are streetlights, service docks, laybys, and other aesthetics. Without doubt, the landmark achievement in the housing sector at a Limosho LCDA affirms the present administration's commitment towards a drastic reduction of the housing deficit in the state with the completion, commissioning, and handing over of 492 keys to allottees of Alaji Latif Jakonde Gardens, Igodo. In addition to this, it is expected that by the fourth quarter of this year, the Lagos Homes Egon, Igodo, which comprises of two and three bedroom blocks, will be delivered. With the realization that for a local government to be classified as developed, there has to be good roads in place and in fulfilling this, through the Ministry of Local Government and Community Affairs, the state government constructed the Ramon Owoyemi Street in Egbeda 
while Fabumi Road in Alimosho is closed to completion. This has further boosted the economic and social activities of the area. The ministry also provided water schemes for residents of Ishaga, Agbile Kale community, Ayobo Ipaja, Olorunshogo Ifeludun community, Ayobo Ipaja, Ikola Ilumo community, Holy Timothy, Aburu Ipaja, Ayobo, amongst other locations around the area. It also provided electrification through the installation of transformers at Adekola Estate CDA Ikola and Peace CDA Ikola. With a vision statement of a flood-free and hygienic Lagos, the Ministry of the Environment and Water Resources put words into action when it constructed Shusoya Alabata Street, Phase 2 drainages. The project was conceived in order to take away stormwater runoff that usually ravages the community, which include parts of Ijegun Road, Ajibosho Road, and Shusoya Alabata. The channel discharges into Ijagemo and further into Obadori Channel. In slightly related ways, the ministry also constructed a collector drain which is designed to capture Joshua Ede Community, Abaranje Road, Ola Street and Asalu Road. Undoubtedly, this administration promised to practice an all-inclusive government from inception. This, the administration has continued to do with the development of all local government areas and local council development areas in the state. Governance is indeed all about the people. And for the people of Alimosho local government, governance is indeed all about them, despite the population of the area.